Hi, and welcome to Lunch with Lisa. And today, we're gonna cook homemade protein bars. It's Lunch with Lisa. Hi, I'm Lisa, and I cook quick and easy healthy meals the same meals I used to lose 33 pounds in just four months. I went from this to this. And I'm here to share these meals with you and the meals that I continue to make to keep the weight off. So a really good treat that I've figured out for myself are protein bars. I love them in a pinch. And I wanted to figure out a way to make them at home. So I saw the ingredients that went in it and then I had control over it. I like to see if I can make something at home that I buy in the store. I just do because I know like in my head, I'm like, there's gotta be a way to make my own protein bars. Of course there is. The first protein bar we're gonna look at is called Citrus Pistachio Protein Granola Bar. It's this one. To make this bar, you're going to need one cup packed pitted medjool dates, one three fourths cup shelled lightly salted pistachios, third cup rolled oats, I love organic, one mandarin orange, and then one tablespoon of mandarin juice, which is just approximately three segments, depending on the size, of course. I think I used like five. So to make this bar, I put the dates into the food processor and blended them for approximately 10 to 15 seconds, until they were finely chopped. I think I did it a little bit extra. It said to scrape down the sides, but I didn't really need to. And then I added the rest of the ingredients and pulsed for 10 more seconds, scraping down the sides if I needed to. And then additional five to 10 seconds, I just kind of pulsed it until the mixture was sticky, but there were still pieces of pistachio and oats still visible. Then I took a piece of wax paper and put it in a loaf pan and transferred everything into that loaf pan and pressed it down. Make sure it's firm and smooth. Pack it in there and then chill it in the refrigerator for 20 to 30 minutes. It cuts into eight bars and you can serve them immediately or refrigerate up to one week. So this is the citrus pistachio protein granola bar and we're gonna give it a taste. I'm so excited about this. It smells oh, like salty, Sting my mouth water and I can smell the mandarin in there. And those dates are the sticky part kind of holding everything together. Okay, so I'm gonna break it in half. Ooh, that looks good. Mmm, mmm. Oh, that's a good mouthful. And it's so sweet, but it's not like sugary sweet, and like chemical sweet. It's very naturally sweet. Oh, from those dates. Dates are so good. So the protein in this bar is primarily from the pistachios. Compared to other nuts, pistachios actually have a lower calorie content. Mmm. It's so good. It helps you remain energized between meals. Okay, very delicious. I'm gonna put all the nutrition information down below so that you know how many calories are in each bar and um, all the macros, along with all the recipes to these bars. Okay, so for our next bar, we have a no-bake chocolate protein bar. So for this bar, you're going to need vanilla pea protein, oats, ground flax seed, cacao or cocoa powder, dried cherries or any dried fruit, almond butter, honey, water, and vanilla extract. So to make this, first combine your protein powder, your oats, your flax, your cacao, and your dried cherries in a large bowl and mix them up. Then in a microwave safe bowl, combine the almond butter and honey and microwave that for 45 seconds until the honey is melted and the almond butter is loose and then mix it together. And then you're going to add the water and the vanilla to the hot almond butter honey mixture and whisk it to continue. Then you're gonna pour the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients and mix it until a dough-like texture forms. You can start out with your spatula and then get in there with your bare hands. Then of course, into another lined loaf pan, or you can use an eight by eight pan and press this mixture evenly into the pan. Cover it with parchment paper and refrigerate for at least an hour. These will last several weeks when refrigerated. So yay, let's try these out. I love dried cherries. I went ahead and bought unsweetened dried cherries so there was no sugar, no extra sugar in the cherries. So it's extra healthy. Mm. Oh, mm. right off the bat. 
you know, that burst cherry. Oh, and then you feel, taste the chocolate and the oats give this little nutty flavor and the almond butter, of course. Mmm. <laughs> oh, I love the flavors together. This is delicious. Huh. It satisfies your sugar craving. So the protein comes from the pea protein that I used. It comes also from the oats and the flaxseed and the almond butter. So this bar, since it includes the protein powder, it acts pretty well as a meal replacement. Like if you're on the go and you need to grab something really fast in the morning for breakfast, grab this bar. It's got the protein powder in it, so it kind of makes it a meal to tide you over till you can eat some more food. Bar number three, is the almond butter fudge protein bar. For this bar, you're going to need one cup smooth almond butter, a fourth a cup softened coconut oil, two tablespoons maple syrup, half a cup collagen powder, and a third a cup chocolate chips. I did not go for sugar-free ones. I didn't have any on hand. I just used what I had on hand. I guess if I really were intentional about it, I would use the sugar-free chocolate chips. I really love Lily's. You can find the link below in my Amazon store. To make this bar, all you have to do is grease or line a loaf pan with parchment paper. And in a large bowl, you add your almond butter, your coconut oil, and the maple syrup, and then mix it really well till it's cohesive and thick. Then you just add in the collagen and mix that till it's well combined and then fold in the chocolate chips. Then all you do is put that mixture into your loaf pan and use your hands or the spatula to disperse it evenly and then place it in the freezer for at least 20 minutes to harden. Then you can remove it from the loaf pan to cut. Here, this has been sitting out for a little while so it's gotten a little bit loose and I'm going to break this in half. Ooh, got all those chocolate chips. <laughs> mm hmm it's a little on the grainy side because of the collagen. I mean, I can taste that coconut oil, which isn't necessarily the best flavor, but I might, I don't know, it's, it's pretty good. It might taste better with peanut butter. The almond butter doesn't stand out as much, but peanut butter might mask the coconut oil flavor. That's just something to consider if you don't like the flavor of coconut oil. So the protein in this comes from a combination of the almond butter and the collagen. And the collagen is needed for texture purposes. Hmm. It creates a texture that holds together while still being a little fudgy. It also adds a really nice boost of protein to the bar. This is my least favorite of the bars. Okay, bar number four is another no-bake bar. It is the Snickerdoodle Protein Bar. Woo for this bar, you're going to need a half a cup pitted medjool dates, a half a cup organic unflavored pea protein powder or vanilla protein powder, a half a cup natural peanut butter, a fourth a cup maple syrup, and two teaspoons cinnamon. To make this bar, you're just going to add everything to a food processor and pulse it until a fine sand-like texture is formed. Then you pour the mixture into a loaf pan, press it down firmly until you have a very hard level surface. And once it's packed, cut it into eight bars and store it in the refrigerator for up to one week. All right, so this bar uses pea protein and peanut butter. Mm. Oh, it's the cinnamon it tastes so good. Oh, it tastes like a snickerdoodle, but yeah, a healthy version. Oh, that's good. Oh, that was real good. Oh, that's way too, that's evil. <laughs> this is vegan, no bake. It's high in protein. It's a good choice for a recovery snack after a really tough workout. Yum. I love this bar. It was a good bar. Definitely make this bar. The Snickerdoodle protein bar. Mm. All right, that brings me to our last bar. It is the peanut butter chocolate chickpea bar. And this bar you actually do bake. So for this bar, you're going to need one 15 ounce can of chickpeas, drained, but keep the liquid, a third cup peanut butter, two tablespoons vegetable oil, third a cup pure maple syrup, one teaspoon vanilla extract, three fourths cup white whole wheat flour, one teaspoon baking powder, half a cup coarsely chopped peanuts, and three fourths cup dairy free chocolate chips. I just used the chocolate chips I had on hand. Now you're going to need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, drain your chickpeas, keep the liquid, place the reserved chickpea liquid in a kitchen mixer bowl, or you can use an electric mixer like I did. I had no idea bean liquid did this. You whip the liquid until it's thick and foamy. How crazy is that? And it whips right up. Just set it aside, 
So then you're gonna place your chickpeas, your peanut butter, your vegetable oil, your maple syrup, and vanilla in the container of a food processor. But I forgot the vanilla, oops. And then um, process all of that until smooth, which takes about three minutes. Just set your timer and let it go. Then you're going to add that mixture into your bowl with your whipped chickpea liquid. I've ne never thought I'd say that. Then you're gonna add your whole wheat flour, the baking powder, and gently fold it in with a rubber spatula so you don't break down the emulsion. So you don't wanna stir it. You just wanna fold it and keep folding it. Just be patient and it'll come together. Don't over mix it. And then you're gonna fold in the peanuts and the chocolate chips. Then spray or line a baking dish and then pour your batter into the pan and bake in the center of the oven for about one hour until it's golden brown and firm. Then you're gonna remove from the oven and let cool for about 15 minutes and don't slice it warm. Make sure you wait until it's cool or else it will crumble and then cut it into 16, 16 bars. Yum. Even without the vanilla, I've tasted this one before. <laughs> mm. It's still so good. Y'all, yeah. it doesn't taste like chickpeas are in here. You cannot taste them. I bet it would taste a ton better with the vanilla, but I forget things all the time. But my house smelled like this all night and this morning, and it just made me so hungry. <laughs> This is so good. Okay, yum. So the protein in this vegan bar comes from the chickpeas. Also the peanut butter, the whole wheat flour, and the peanuts. Okay, you can use this bar as a hearty snack or to satisfy a peanut butter craving with a bonus intake of plant protein. Well, I just went ahead and ate that whole bar. So there you go. There's five protein bars you can make right at home. They're super quick and easy. Now, don't do them all in one day like I did. That took forever. But if you did one at a time, one week do one and the next do it, I think they're so good and they're so easy and they're so nice to have on hand. Like really, mm -hmm. these are excellent. I should probably stop eating them now. Thank you so much for tuning in. Comment down below what your favorite protein bar is. I would love to know because I'd love to try them out. And I'd love to do a show kind of comparing them all together and seeing which one is best. Post down below which protein bar you like the most. It can be a brand, it can be an, a recipe. Tell me if you make your own protein bars. I'm curious, I wanna know. If you like what you see and you wanna help support me, there are a few ways to do that. You can go shopping down below at my Amazon store or you can consider buying me a coffee, coffee.com slash lunchwithlisa. You could also join my Patreon and become a patron like all these lovely people. Oh, go check it out, patreon.com slash lunchwithlisa. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the flip side. It's Lunch With Lisa. I feel like I just ate way too much. So I need to not eat these, right? Probably not. Really though, these were delicious. They're all so good. Like the last one is so good, I just ate all of <laughs> I think the snickerdoodle has to be my favorite. It's the cinnamon. I love cinnamon. All right, stick around for some bloopers. I'm pretty sure there's some in there. <laughs> yeah, my, my new, I have a new wireless, uh, look at that, new wireless microphone that lets me move about a little bit more so I can go get the ruler if I need to. <laughs> and today I wanted to bring to you Homemade protein bars. I love protein bars. They're so quick and easy to grab and go and have with you whenever you feel hungry somewhere so that you don't get hangry and don't then just come home and eat whatever is the first thing that hits your, your eyeballs. <laughs> oh, let's see, what do I say? It's really great to have a nice protein bar on hand to to eat whenever you're out and about, or if there's something that you like, or if you like forget that it's your meal time and you need something really quick, but it's really healthy for you. Something that won't, it's good to surround yourself with healthy food that won't, that won't what? That won't, won't why am I drawing a blank? Huh. 
It's just good to surround yourself with healthy food that won't break the bank. <laughs> I want to say bank, not bank. It's not about the money. It's about the, the not overeating part. Like, so I know when I'm hungry and I haven't cooked anything and I'm starving and I, I like really need something easy and fast that I think protein bar. I love them. And what I used to do in the past is go to my pantry and chow down on my kids' snacks or any other not really very healthy things. And I would just eat all day long with these items that didn't really fill me up, didn't really give me the nutrition that my body craved. So it was always leading me back to the fridge, back to the pantry, trying to eat something else because it needed some vitamins, it needed some minerals, it needed something to really nourish my body because I wasn't nourishing it. I was eating potato chips or I was eating like cereal, just stuff, that, crap, right? That has nothing nutritional value in it, like sugar, like chocolate, candy, any of this stuff. Peanut, oh, oh peanut oil. I used almond, I used avocado oil. I didn't have peanut oil. I did have peanut oil. I did. I do have peanut oil. So you like what you see and we, you want to, I even like took my dates and grew them into palm trees. Well, they're not trees yet. They're just little plants. I'll, ooh, I'm going to go get them. I'll show them to you. <laughs> Look at this. This is my, my little palm trees. I think I have, yeah, I have three of them. I just sprouted the, the date seeds and um, grew them. <laughs> you have to bring them inside in the winter time because they get cold and die. But yeah, they're growing. Who knows? Maybe I'll have some palm trees. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to continue growing them, but how cool, right?